going to show you how to make a grid like, where is it? Grid December 21. This is what I, I made to put on my notice board. And what I do is in these big squares, I write down something I've paid for or something I do or have done or something I want to do. Like I over here, I could say paint the roof. And then when I do paint the roof under here, I would put the date I did it. I've been doing charts like this for many years, about since the 1990s, early 1990s. I have them going way back. This one here is actually on an A3 sheet of paper. It's quite large, but it's actually very easy to do, to make one of these. So I'm just going to do a markup one here. This is um, an A4 sheet, and we're in affinity publisher the latest version and all you do is go over to the table tool select that now you can go down probably i haven't planned this i'm just roughly doing it just to show you how you can do it and then if you want to chart like this you can make it and Make it the way you want it made. Now see this square here, we want the, this, this rectangle to be the big one. So we would just go down, go down to here, the next setting, and then down to here. It's very easy, isn't it? And by doing this, you can set it how you want it to be. Now, <clears throat> once you've done it, so this is just a really rough one. You can do, and you can put a line across here at the bottom if you want, or you can delete that whole row and just drag it down. Um, <clears throat> and at the top here, you can just put in uh, your title. Type in your title for it at the top here. So you could have... Um, grid December just like I've done here and that's a separate see what I mean you just put that there at the top and you've got your grid so it's very very easy to make one of these and then you just print it out so at the top there you could have um, like on, on, on this side and this side normally on all the grids I do like this uh, on the side is my what I buy and what I pay so if it's electricity, I put that there, and then the date I did it, and I put the amount, um, the rates I put up here, and then the amount, and then the date I did it, uh, broadband, um, and if I bought some tools, like recently I just bought a, a ladder for uh, oh, 300 and something dollars, and so I put, I put that on that row there, so down here and other things i've bought so i just bought a chainsaw so i just bought a uh tire for the car and things like that so you just add to it what, what, whatever it is and then the rest of it is followed up with other things you do like um you could do this this row on garden what you planted in the garden and then when you've finished you'll have the whole of all of your activities in december of 2021 and then when you go into the January of 2022 you'll put in your um, activities for then so it kind of goes like that and it's, it's a lot of fun um, I really enjoy doing this I've, as I said I've been doing it for many many years and I can go back and it's really good for memories so, you know seeing when like it starts when my children are I think I started when they were about two or three and right up until they've grown up and left home. So it's quite cool. It's, it's interesting. You've got all your memories, your family memories. You've got the times, date you went to the doctors. You had illnesses and things like this. And it's not putting it in a computer database. It's just putting it on a chart that's on a notice board, on the wall, and you just fill it out. So that's how you do it. It's very easy.